Okay, this is 3.1, the overview of simple modals and phrasal modals. And this uh, term, simple modal versus phrasal modal, you may not have seen before. Some books call these phrase-like expressions. Make this full screen here. Okay, we can use simple modals and phrasal modals, modals, and then we add the base form of a main verb to express different beliefs and attitudes about what we say. Uh, this is a, a strict rule that students get uh, make a lot of mistakes breaking. After uh, either kind of modal, the base form of the verb, the dictionary form of the verb, is what you use. Okay, we use simple modals and phrasal modals to express different social purposes, such as ability. For example, he can speak English very well. This is a simple modal. Uh, there is also a phrasal modal you can use. He is able to speak English very well. These forms can also express other social purposes, for example, obligations. He has to take an English class. It's a requirement. Uh, there's another expression. He is supposed to take an English class, or he must take an English class. We can use advice. He really should take an English class. This is a simple modal, and this is a phrasal modal. You might want to take an English class. Here is a simple modal that's being used to soften advice. It's making a gentle suggestion. Could you please help me? Here's a simple modal that is used to make a polite request. You can also say, can you please help me? But it's more polite and soft and gentle to say, could you please help me? Okay, they're allowed to take English if they want to. This is a phrasal modal. Well, this is a simple modal. I don't know why they put it green. I think that's a mistake. I can also say they may take English if they want to, and that would be a simple modal. Simple modal and phrasal modal forms can express how sure or how likely an event is. For example, he's going to take English 201 next fall. This is, we've learned this before, and it's really a kind of phrasal modal. That means it's quite likely and certain. He may take English uh, in the fall. I'm not sure. This is maybe, and this is a simple modal expressing maybe. Um, she should be here by 7 o'clock. She left an hour ago. Here's another way to talk about maybe. And it's confusing because, of course, should gets used in other ways as well. One thing that happens with modals is that they can have different meanings in different contexts. They can have different meanings in different tenses, and it gets confusing. Okay, here's the second part of this overview. Most simple modals can refer to things that are generally true. Students should get a night's sleep before exam day. She may be at work right now, I'm not sure. He must be taking a shower. I can hear the water. This is another case where must is I'm skipping again. Must is used in other ways, but when I say must be taking a shower, I mean I guess this is probably something that is happening. Here I guess this may be something that is happening. Most simple modals can also refer to things that are future actions. They might arrive at 7 instead of 6. Their flight is late. This means they um, maybe will arrive. I will take those to the office for you. Here, this is this future. Will is really a modal. And here's the future with will saying, I'm going to do that. I've decided to do it. Unlike simple modals, phrasal modals include a helping verb, have or be, and we show time by using the correct 
past, present, or future form of those verbs. She has to get up at 5 o'clock tomorrow. Work starts at 6. But I could say she had to get up at 4 yesterday because her job started even earlier. We won't be able to meet on Monday. Anne is sick. Here is a uh, phrasal modal being used to show something in the future. This, this uh, frame here, this slide here, is a pretty fine point that I would not worry about very much.